simplify log 5 to base 2 plus log 1.6 to base 2, giving you answer as an integer, isn't it? Now, to simplify this, you check the laws of logarithm which apply, isn't it? So, the law which apply here is when you have log xy, that is the same as log x, if it is multiplication plus log, log y, isn't it? So, if the base is the same, you put the same base for everything, isn't it? So, you can see the base is the same. Too. So, if this is base 2, everything there must be base. Base 2, isn't it? So, it means our x is 5 and our y is 1 point. Six. So when we are simplifying, it is going to be 2 times 1.6, isn't it? Are we together? So we've been given log 5 to base 2 plus log 1.6 to base 2. So you can see our x is 5, our y is 1.6. But then we get log x times y, 5 times 1.6 because of addition sign in between them, isn't it? So there we have, we factorize out our log to base 2. Inside we have 5 times 1.6. 5 times 1.6, then you end up with log, 5 times 1.6 is 8, eight. eight. Two, base? 2 base, 2 base 2. Then after getting this, you check, are you able to factorize 8 in a manner that you are able to get 8 in terms of 2, isn't it? So you can factorize 8, 8 is the same as 2 cubed, isn't it? So where there is 8, we will have log 2 cubed, 2 base, to base 2, isn't it? And you see the power is written as the coefficient of the log, isn't it? So it means this power 3, which is power for everything here, this 3 becomes the coefficient. So it is 3 log 2 to base, to base 2. Then remember, remember when you have log x to base y, that is the same as log x over log, meaning the base is the logarithm in the denominator, isn't it? So it means when somebody gives you log 2 to base 2, that is the same as log 2 over log 2. Log 2 goes with log 2, you remain with? Meaning a log of a number to the same base is always 1, isn't it? So this is like 3 times 1, you get your answer to be? To be 3. And you simplify that given problem.